Hi, I'm Roger McCarville, and welcome to A Wider World, the show on abilities. Communications can be a problem for all of us, especially trying to use cell phones. Well, the Verizon Corporation has come up with a program that helps seniors and all of us learn to use cell phones. The need to make technology accessible is growing. People with disabilities are the largest minority in America. Along with disability, age is becoming a factor in the adoption and accessibility of technology. The pricey cell phones of the last century have given way to communication devices that do more than simply make phone calls. Service plans range in price from about $30 to hundreds of dollars a month. There are also prepaid cell phones that work much like a debit card. There are special plans for older adults age 65 and up. There are emergency only phones and phones that are accessible for visually impaired, hearing impaired, and larger displays for aging eyes. I think it's kind of a lifeline to my family. I find it important to be able to keep in touch with my kids who are both they're uh, 19 and 22, so I like to know what's going on and that they're okay. And I uh, like to keep up with my friends and also contact work occasionally. There's a phone on the market for every personality out there, from the tiniest little thing to as big as you want it. In fact, what we've been doing for the past couple of years is we hold um, free workshops in our stores to get our customers familiar with those more complex phones because we want you to be able to take advantage of all of the functionality that your phone can offer. And even if you bring in your simple phone and maybe you don't even know how to uh, send a text message minute. or get your minutes, our whole, our whole philosophy is the happier you are with your phone and the more you're able to take advantage of all of its capabilities, the happier you're going to be. And what's interesting is when wireless phones were first introduced about 25 years ago, um, they were pretty pricey, not just for the phone, but for the cost of making a call. And um, it was actually the small business owner that really... Um, penetrated the wireless industry and brought the cost down for regular consumers like you and me because it was the small business owner, the, the plumber, the painter, the landscaper that was never sitting in an office and having a cell phone and being able to pick up um, and not rely on having to go back to the office mm -hmm. to answer calls made him or her much, not only did it save them time, but it made them much more competitive to be able to get back to their customers in a timely way. Michelle Gilbert has some tips to make your cell phone use easy and economical. Pound MIN for minutes um, allows you to very easily determine how many minutes you have used during your billing cycle. It's an airtime free call. Not only will it tell you how many minutes, but it will also send you a free text message right to your phone mm -hmm. telling you how many minutes you've used in your billing cycle. And this is an important tool that all of our customers can take an advantage of because we don't want our customers going over on their monthly minutes or their data packages. We want them to be within the usage, and what this does is it gives them the opportunity, if they are trending to go over, they can change their rate plan at any time during the month. Oh, now that's for, something I didn't know. Yes, and there's no there's no hook, there's no catch. Um, oh. You can go up, you can go down, whenever you need to. We want our customers to be happy, and if it means changing their rate plan uh, to the one that gives them the most bang for their buck, that's what we're going to do. We do offer more simplistic phones for those people who are looking for them, and uh, one phone in particular is called the NAC, and it has a uh, larger font size and larger keys, so that it's in, in actually color-coded keys, so that it's much easier for people to figure out what they're pressing. Tox is a special uh, software that is available uh, currently on the Motorola Q9C, but soon to be available on many other devices that speaks to you and allows you to use voice activated commands so that you can take advantage of all of the technology that your cell phone offers. There is um, another service, it's called the Pill Phone. The Pill Phone is not actually a phone, it's a special feature that you can download directly to your phone. And what it does is it allows you to look up any medication that you need to and determine what the side effects are, um, 
does it interact, for example, can I take Tylenol with Sudafed? Mm -hmm. um, are there any, you know, is there any problem to doing that? And then the other really, really important benefit that it does is it allows you to help somebody monitor their medication that they're supposed to be taking. Somebody else? Yes. Yeah, so, for example, if my mother takes her heart medication um, every single day and she needs to take it at a certain time every day, I can set this feature up so that I receive a text message as to whether she took her medication, if she didn't take her medication, or if she ignored her alert to take oh. her medication. So say if, if my mother ignored the alert because she fell asleep and took a nap, I could call her and remind her how important it is for her to take that medication. We offer a lot of different uh, handset models that are hearing aid compatible. We also offer um, some accessories uh, that work very well, uh, headsets that work very well with hearing aids. There are some really interesting services that you can get right on your phone that may come in very handy for seniors today. One, for example, is for the active senior who does a lot of walking to stay in shape or even running or bike riding. It's called Bones in Motion and it works off of GPS technology and it tracks how far you've run or walked or biked. Um, it, it will, or road, it keeps track of your distance and you can actually upload all the information that it tracks to your very own website and keep track of that and be able to show your progress and share routes with friends. For us, our top priorities are um, providing our customers with the most reliable wireless network because we understand that when our customers press send on their phones, they expect that call to go through and stay connected. And it's not just in times of normalcy, like a bright and sunny day like today, that we expect our phones to work during that time. And frankly, um, in any major metropolitan area, you should get great service from any wireless service provider. Well, what about those times of emergency? What about when the hurricanes hit down south? What about when it's tornado season and power goes out? Is your cell phone going to still operate when power goes out? And Verizon Wireless spends millions of dollars putting permanent backup generators at all of its cell sites where it's virtually where it's possible mm. um, so that if power does go out, our generators kick in and we remain operational. For safety and security, you can't beat a cell phone. Here are some tips to make sure that you are using your phone properly. Keep your phone handy, clipped to your belt or in your purse. Don't turn off your cell phone between conversations. Having the phone handy and operational is very important if you have an emergency. The battery has standby time and will last a couple of days. Charge your phone on a regular basis. Program the ICE in case of emergency feature on your phone. This will enable first responders to contact your family directly if you have an emergency and are unable to contact them yourself. Program numbers you frequently call into your phone and you won't need to look them up when placing a call. The store where you purchased your phone can help you with this. I certainly want to thank the Verizon Corporation for taking the time to explain to people, seniors especially, how to use those cell phones.